All right, so this is a Dell Optiplex uh, 7010. I was having a problem when I was starting. I would have this hang up here and it would say um, boot agent loading or something like that, DHCP, and then it would have to time out and then they would just load normally. Uh, I wanted to fix that and I found out how. So we're gonna go ahead and restart here. Click restart, we're on Windows 10. Um, like I said, it's Dell Optiplex uh, 7010 with an i3. Um, I had to use a corded um, keyboard and then I had to plug it into the front uh, plug here and we're just going to hold down F2 here. Screen went off. We're going to hold down F2 and hopefully the BIOS will come up here. Still holding down F2 and here we are. We're into the BIOS. So we're going to go up to um, actually system information and boot sequence. Uh, I don't know why, but it still had the uh, diskette drive and then onboard NIC. I deleted both of those, uh, or unchecked them. Um, so my boot order is going to be the SSD drive, uh, USB storage, and then a CDW drive, or CD-ROM drive if I ever need it for some reason. Boot list option is going to be legacy, so that's not a problem. Just leave it on legacy. And then over here under system configuration, go over here, and then integrated NIC. Um, when I had this, it was actually enabled, it said, uh, enabled, uh, with PXE. So enabled, uh, with PXE, the internal LAN is enabled with PXE boot. I actually disabled this. Uh, I clicked it to disabled and that turned off my whole LAN. Um, so my whole LAN was off. I'm glad I noticed it right away though, cause it said not connected. So I just turned it on to enabled and, uh, looks like we're good there. So that's the setting you want. So system configuration, integrated NIC, enabled. We'll go ahead and exit. All my settings are done already. And let's see if this will boot up here. Uh, first time you boot it, you'll get a beep like that after you get out of the BIOS. Uh, it doesn't do that after the, after the, if you restart it again. And so there's no text here trying to wait me out or anything like that. Boom, there we are. Quick, easy fix, not too bad. Uh, just, I didn't have any luck using my USB um, keyboard and I had to use a wired one. So, and then, and then press F2. All right, thanks for watching.